What's up guys? So I just wanted to do an honest and straightforward review of the AI tool called Bezzy. Bezzy is a tool that integrates with the Unity game engine, can read your hierarchy, your inspector, your assets and project files, and your scripts, and can kind of work with it to um, co-pilot and help you in making a game. I put Bezzy into agent mode because this is what allows it to take control of your game engine and to make changes to the space essentially. Hi, I'd like to make a game. So just an overall summary of this is I'd like to make a game that is simple, title screen with a start button, and after the button is clicked, a player, which is a capsule game object, spawns and can move around with the WASD input keys. I guess I should mention that this is a first person game, right? What do you guys think is easier, first person or third person? Let's do third person. Um, this is a third person camera view game. The goal is to collect three coins. We can use yellow spheres as the coins that spawn randomly on a plane. If the player touches a coin, the coin is destroyed and the counter is increased by one. So the score counter is increased by one. Um, on the top right hand corner, of the screen. Essentially, the player has collected the coin. After the player collects three coins, spawn an end goal, let's say cube, just to keep things simple. Cube for the player to walk to. If they collide, if the player object collides with the end goal object, the game is over and the player wins. That's it. All right, let's see what Bezzy can do for us then at this point in time. I'm gonna go ahead and hit send. Let's send it. Okay, so notice how Bezzy is checking our hierarchy, our scripts, our folders, and everything that we have so far. So Bezzy is figuring out what our engine, you know, what our setup is so that it can behave accordingly. All right, so it looks like it's making a game manager script to create the, um, or at least to reference the player prefab, the coin prefab, the end goal, and the plane, which would be the ground, right? The title screen, all right, looks like it's setting up parameters for collecting coins. Third person camera script, okay. So this is setting the height and, and the distance away from the player so that we can see the player's model uh, from behind essentially. Kind of like Fall Guys uh, camera view. And then the end goal script, the coin script, as well as the UI manager. Okay. Ooh, set up instruction. Okay, so now it's telling me what to do in the engine to set this all up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, so that Again, Bezzy has, and I'm gonna keep all because I don't, you know, I can't program. So I'm just gonna hit keep all and let's go ahead and follow these instructions, right? I have right click in the hierarchy and create a three, 3D object that is a plane. Oh, it's importing all the scripts that it wrote now. So we can actually see all the scripts here. That's pretty cool, right? And we can see their code on the right hand side. So this is actually a good tool to learn how you should be setting up your scripts, your folders, as well as some of the code involved um, for making a game if you don't know how to make, make how to code. So let's go ahead and make a 3D object called a plane and name it ground. Okay, that's our ground. Scale it two one two. Okay, so it's here. Scale two one two. And then, um, so important to know is that Bezzy would have to resync after the after I do all these changes, so that it knows what's going on um, with the project. So I'm going to delete it from the scene because now we have this player prefab with the player tag, 
Okay, now it's telling me to create the coin prefab. So it's asking for prefab so that we it can spawn these objects via code, right? So right click on the hierarchy and 3D object sphere. And then the ground plane, I'm gonna drag that from the hierarchy because it doesn't actually say um, prefab, it says ground object. So I think that's correct. Then it wants me to drag all these UI elements and then configure the layer mask and I think we should be ready to go. At this point, game starts with the titles. This is what we should have guys. The game starts with the title screen showing, click start to begin the game. The player will spawn as a capsule that moves with WASD. Three coins spawn randomly on the plane. Collect the coins by walking into them. The score will update. After three coins are collected, the green, well, we made ours red, which is fine. It just shows you that, you know, have flexibility. The green end goal cube appears. Touch the end goal to win and restart the game. The camera follows the player in third person view with mouse look enabled. That's really pretty cool. The game automatically restarts after winning. Okay, let's take a look and let's run it and see if, if that's what we got. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this and I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. Okay, so coin collector game. So that was my fault that they're all bunched up like this. I actually didn't move the, um, the UI elements in their proper place. Let's go ahead and hit start game. Okay, so I clicked on start game and my mouse disappeared, but screen, right? So let's see if Bezzy can figure out what, what the, uh, the issue is. Um, actually, I think it will have to sync. Yep, so I'm gonna make sure that it syncs up first so that it has the updated um, hierarchy, inspector, and project files. So like that, it can better assist me with my question. Cool, it looks like the sync is complete and there's nothing else to sync. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask it now and let's see what Bezzy can come up with. I'm gonna create a simpler solution, likely that your game manager references aren't assigned. Let me create a better version of game manager that can auto find its references. That's really cool. The auto find for prefabs uses using resources load won't work since your prefabs are in the prefabs folder, not resources. Oh, so that was my fault that I actually changed the directory of the prefabs. Select the game manager. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep all and I'm gonna go ahead and make these changes and then I'll, I'll show you guys the updated uh, results. Play test, let's see if it works. Okay, start game. Okay. Okay, so it's investigating the issue. It's very interesting. The console shows that all the references are being found successful, all showing true, but something's preventing the player from spawning. Let me check the game manager. It's actually being called when you click the button. Okay. Okay, then drag them in again, it wants me to do. Okay, I'll keep all. And now let's go ahead and let's try to run the build once more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit start game. Oh, there we go. We are live. We can move with WASD. And there is one, two, three coins. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh wait, the, the movement is... So, okay, so something interesting is happening. I am hitting... S and S always moves me in the same direction, right? So no matter how I rotate the camera, it's not accounting for the, my rotation on the mouse. It's WASD only from the perspective of this angle, essentially. So if I turn my, my mouse this way and I hit D, I'm still going left. Right, so it, it doesn't account for mouse rotation 
when, um, okay, when uh, factoring in the controls. Okay, so let's go ahead and collect. Okay. Um, I don't see the score updating, but maybe it, it is somewhere doing, oh yeah. It's right there in the center of the screen. It's just very faint. Okay, two out of three. Oh, I'm about to fall off because of the perspective. It's really difficult to control, but we, I'm sure we can fix that later on. And three. Okay, where's the exit cube? There it is. Let's go ahead and go to the exit cube. Hey, we did it and it restarts. Okay, so there you have it guys. Um, so if I did want to, um, obviously if I wanted to go in here and you know, clean up the the controller, the player movement script. I could probably do that with uh, Bezzy's help because I wouldn't know how to do that on my own. Um, and I would also be able to add sound effects when you collect a coin, maybe add some background music, maybe um, have a respawn point for when you jump off the, the stage. If you fall off, then, you know, um, it'll respawn you. All right, guys, so I've polished up the game. A lot of things have been added. So the character controller works as you rotate the uh, camera left and right. W will always take you forward. D will always move you to the right, no matter what the rotation is. There are now sound effects. When you collect a coin, there's background music. When you fall off the stage, you respawn. There's a skybox that changes from day to night. Um, only after you collect all three coins and there is now a glow, a shader glow on the end goal uh, once it spawns so that you can see it during the night. So let me show you guys what I have. Um, I did spend more than 10, 15 to 20 minutes. I spent probably closer to one hour as I had to debug a couple of things here and there. But again, I wouldn't have been able to do any of this without Bezzy. So let me show you guys what I got. As it is my ultimate dream to make my own game one day, which I will accomplish. And um, yeah, let me know if there's any other tools you want me to test out and show it in this long form and honest way. I don't have any programming experience. I didn't do anything extra or outside of what Bezzy told me to do. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you so much. I will see you all next time.